Hello and welcome, chat. We are here today to play Final Fantasy XI. Um, I've deleted my one character, and we're going to create a new one. Because what's, what's the point of grinding if I don't completely start over when I start a new stream? So we are going to... What he, what he meant to say is that he enjoys suffering. I do that's, enjoy, that's what he meant to say. I do very much so enjoy suffering. Let's see. Um, I could play... I should probably get the stream link for you, shouldn't I? I I'm already watching it. Okay, do you see... Let's, let's look through the character options. So there's the Humes. They're humans. They have generally across the board stats that are pretty alright. And uh, you can be male or female. Um, there's also the elves, it's called the Elvan. They are good with agility and dexterity, but they're also generally pretty strong. Then there's the Taru Taru, who are fast and intelligent. And Please they're annoying. Don't, don't play Taru Taru. Don't play Taru Taru. Don't play Taru Taru. My urge to punt them is even stronger than it is with the Wallafell. Are are you Look at look at them! Look at them! They're What is, what is what is with their head? Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Then there's no, the No no um, no no Then there's the uh obligatory cat girls. Mithra. Yeah. No, don't don't play as a Taru don't. Taru. I I. It's mere existence. Just. What about the cat girl? <laughs> Do you want the cat girl? The cat girl's not bad. A bit degenerate, but better than the fucking Taru Taru. I'm planning on playing Thief, so their dexterity and agility plus their high strength might actually be useful. Probably. And then there's the Galka, who are strong. Galka. You play a Thief. <laughs> thief Galka. Thief Galka? You think it would be worth it? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know anything about this game. Alright, fuck it, we're doing it. We're doing it. Alright, so we've Is got he... Phase 1. Phase two. <laughs> phase three. Phase four. <laughs> phase five. Phase six. Oh, fuck it. This is our man. You'll be. This is our man. We're You'll making be, he'll him be the, the largest th thief. Okay, and he's gonna be a thief. He's gonna be the strongest okay. thief. <laughs> so we're gonna hit random until we get a name we like. Get <laughs> runt jellyfish. Runt jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> we're going with Runt Jellfish. Oh my god. And we're god. starting on Bahamut because that's where everybody's Runt at. Runt Jellfish. That's this name. And we're going to start. <laughs> so, Joey. So, Joey, we can start in San Deoria, which is the place where elves are from. We can start in Bastok, which is Ancap Wasteland. Or we can start in Winders, where all the cat girls are. <laughs> where are the white women at? Where the white woman at? Where do you want to start? Bastok is probably the best place to start. Start in Bastok. Start in Bastok? Okay, we're going to start oh in God. Bastok. Runt uh, Jellfish's adventure begins the... here. Absolute meme build. Yeah. Here we are. Alright, let's, let's experience Other... this. Other players are gonna be like, "Are you fucking playing as a Galka thief?" Yes. Yes, yes, I am. All right, cutscenes time. <clears throat> are you prepared? <laughs> I am as prepared as I can. All right, the the adventures of Runt Gel. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Runt. <laughs> I can't believe you. Unironically. Oh, no, Oh, ironically, Dave to <laughs> run jellfish. Look at him! Oh my god! Oh Look at my this god. dude! 
Oh my god, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I'm not even paying attention to what the text says. So we are playing retail for Final Fantasy XI, which I wish they would just mix in with Final Fantasy XIV, but it's honestly whatever. Um, they should, though. They really it would, should. It would it would open it up to more people. Yeah. But Run Jellfish's adventures are not for naught. We will continue playing him, and we will stream this as often as possible. Of course, we have to mix it in with the Star Ocean 2R streams. My god. Alright, so here we are. We here. <sighs> we runt jellfish. And what are you going to do about it? I love this. I love this so much. All right, cutscene. Look at him, poor dude. I'm waiting. I am here. Catch you up. Oh damn, that's a Taco Bell fart. Jesus. Well, I'm just kind of mixing through this because um. Fucking, uh, I've been through Bastok's tutorial before. Hmm. Okay, so if you, if you, can you, um, Joey, can you cross post this to the streaming chats? Because maybe someone will want to come in or sure. watch. Hi, Valdemar. I'm Runt Jellfish, and I'm here to party. I would like to find some work. Uh, get rich quick. Or die trying. Hell yeah. So I gotta go talk to Reet. Okay. So we need to go talk to Reet to get our starting stuff. And here we are. We're run gelfish. And this is This is gonna be a good time. Alright. Oh look how slow I move. This is wild. And we're a thief. How slow do you move? I move so slow, or at least it looks like it. So we're gonna check our map and double check where Reet is. So we're going over there. You're gonna be the best thief in the world. The very best, like no one ever was. No one ever was. I, I'm here. You're going to prove that size doesn't matter. And that you can be as stealthy an agile as a cat girl truly even though you're very true even though you're like probably like seven feet tall i am as tall as the game would allow me to be okay i need to oh. equip my items how tall do you call it get oh, pretty tall seven foot tall <laughs> thief Seven foot tall, ripping muscles. The, t t the so Tataro are literally fucking ring. The Tataro are like literally like a worse version of the Lalafell. I know it's awful. I, I, I hate it so much. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wander around a little bit. We're gonna start off by. Trying to get record design and started. So current objectives, objective list, tutorial Funny basics for step forward. Let's start. Uh, so we need to go to um, the Bastok markets and talk to Isakoth. So we need to find out how to get to the Isakoth to the Bastok markets, which would be Port Bastok. 
Bastok. I think we're in the Bastok markets, and we need to talk to Isakoth. So, where am I again? Change map. Bastok. Bastok markets. Yep, that's where we are. So, Isakoth is at... Uh, current objectives. Bastok's E11. Which is... I'm going to start running. E11. So, E... 11. EA Sports. It's in the game. This way, to the reptile room. This way, to the reptile room! And see, there's other people playing right now, so that's good. That's really good. They're gonna be like, is this dude a, a Galka thief? I am a Galka thief. My name is Runt Jellfish. Be not fooled. My name is not a joke. However, my size does indeed matter. Ignore me! His stealth rolls are all just him shouting, Ignore me! And people do. They do, because what are you going to do? You're going to not listen to the big dude who could crush your very spine? <laughs> like, dude, do you want to tell this guy to fuck off? No. <laughs> He'll kill you. <laughs> what to imagine that's like... How he gets away with all those crimes is that people just don't want that smoke. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I need to set this as my home point. As we're playing retail, this is slightly more convenient. Hold on. There's Aetherite. Yes, they are home point crystals. Set this as my home point. So I, I, whenever I die, I will come back here. So there's Ethicoth. Oh, okay. We need to talk to this dude. Aetherite sounds cooler. It does. I know. The guy's name is Jello Be a Fresh. Yeah. All right. This is Ethicoth. He says, "Attention, my name's Ethicoth, and for today's lesson, we're going to learn about, um, impart to me your knowledge." That's the spirit. You're an adventurer in my spitting image, at least when it comes to passion. Today's lesson is all about records of eminence. So break out your textbook and turn to page five. T what's that? Tsk, tsk, tsk. If you've forgotten your textbook, you'll have to share it with the person next to you. The memoranda nods. Let's see. Fighting spirit. My meds are kicking in, so I cannot read this. So I'm going to just, um, continue looking through the text. Late stream's gonna be short tonight, but it's fine. This dude looks like some someone out of fucking 40k. He does. Oh, you're going to be really proud of me today, Joy. Why is that? I, I minimally drank, drank soda today. Good. I am proud of you. I did cut back. I'm very happy about it. I'm very happy for you. I drank a lot of water. Good. A lot of water is good for you. Oh, are we leaving? Alright. I got the memorandum. Okay. I leveled up. I think. Uh, 300 sparks, strips of meat jerky. I have undertaken the records of eminence challenge, vanquished lizards. But we need to talk to Goldago real quick. So we're gonna talk to Goldago. Target out of range. Hi. Hi, Goldago. I need to I need to borrow you real quick. Rabid Wolf and have him cast Signal on me. So this is how we start um, gathering up st shit. Would you please cast Signet on me? It gives us a buff and it gives us points whenever we kill shit. Based. Okay, now we go back and talk to Goldago again. There's another player. Yeah. 
I am Rabbit Wolf. What? All right. We got some meat jerky. We're gonna eat one. Dude, I think that player is following you. They might be. They might want to party up with me or something. Who knows? All right, you good luck. Me? Alright, so now I need to develop a weapon skill. And then Goldago will give me another reward. So, now it's time for my favorite part of this game, which is the combat where I stand there and fight. Which is much easier on controller. I know that sounds like heresy coming from me, but trust me. Trust me. Look, if the game was meant to be played with a controller, it's meant to be played with a fucking yeah. controller. There's no getting around that. Alright, let's watch Runt Jellfish fight some bats. I still can't believe that you managed to get as far as you did in Dark Souls on keyboard and mouse. That's honestly impressive. It is? Yeah, because keyboard and mouse on Dark Souls ass. Especially Happy to impress. There we go. Especially since you were probably playing unmodified Dark Souls. I was. Patch. I was. Yeah. Jesus. Chest is locked. Attempt to unlock it. So we're going to try to unlock a chest. The first digit is odd. Level Second up. digit is even. Yeah, we leveled up. That is good that we leveled up. So... First digit is one, two, or three, so it's one or three. The combination is less than 33, so it's... Uh... 30, maybe? It was 14. Oh well, I accidentally hit the wrong button anyway. I would have gotten it wrong either way, though. Okay, we're fighting. Once we get to level 5, we'll be able to get trusts, and this will go much faster. Fucking love this game, though. And I'm missing the tunnel worm. There we go. I am kicking things ass. He's missing the tunnel. There we go. Hit the hornet. Alright, here we go. I am smacking this shit. Oh, the Dark Souls 2 story is something that actually the chat doesn't know about because I, I didn't play that on stream. So, I did the first boss of Dark Souls... Um... Dark Souls 2 without dying on keyboard and mouse. So 0, 1, or 2 is the second. So it's 1. So I need to figure out what the first digit is. Oh, it's Dark Souls 2? Yeah. I mean, it's so impressive, but I one thought you did it in the original. Okay. No. So the combination is 13. What? One of the two digits is... Oh, it's 31. Whoops, <laughs> my bad, I'm tired. Okay, I got it. 31? 31. Okay. So we got dumb. some brass mittens. And what else did we get? Brass blah 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 blah. Obtain this item. Okay. So we just got a couple of pieces of equipment. Um I can use these as a thief. They're hand to hand weapons, but it'll be worth using if I can uh use them over time. And then I got some brass mittens I can equip at level eleven. But I can sell these for gear later for gill later 
So we're gonna keep on grinding for now until we get our the weapon horn. skill. I like how that hornet just casually like floated inside you for a few seconds and then yeah, floated the other way. It's all chill. I would be terrified if a hornet that big existed in real life. Oh, I am. I'm absolutely terrified of this kind of shit. Ooh, concealed a treasure chest. So we're gonna get some medicine but it wouldn't, out of this one. It would never actually happen, though. It's way too big to actually exist. Like if well, something the thing, the that thing is, big existed. So I actually, this is something I discussed with somebody, oh, like a long time ago, because we were discussing like, um, radiated ants and Fallout and how big they are, mm -hmm. and what they were saying is that like. Uh, excuse me. It could never happen because, um, even if like the ants could get that big, their exoskeleton would crush them. Yeah. First digit is odd. Three, four, five is the second digit. Um, attempt to unlock it. Examine the lock. Hunch that the second digit is odd, so it's three or five. Mm. The first digit is one, two, or three. I need one. Th I need one more to go off of. One of the two digits is one, so it's fifteen. Master, master thief, run, shellfish. I'm going to guess that it's fifteen. I got it. Nice. A willow wand and a beast coin. Teon messaged me. Is this saying that can, he got is this something you can that say he on got, stream yeah okay go ahead he messaged me saying that he got a job good he didn't message yeah. me that. i know he had an interview today but i was worried about him i didn't hear from him today so but yeah, he said he got a job and i was like cool that's great awesome Congrats mm. to him. and then literally like a few minutes later he messaged me that Neji still died as a slave, and he was right, like, out of nowhere. And I was like, <laughs> that was kind of out of pocket, but you're right. He's out of line, but he's right. And then he just messaged me, fate could have changed, and Naruto was Jesus. <laughs> Dude, I know this is controversial for a lot of people talking about Naruto and how it should have ended. I genuinely think that the pain arc should have been the final arc and we would go off it of... Been. It would have been so much better. And Runt Sasuke Jellfish is, is now tree. level 3. Yes, yeah, Sasuke is a tree. There we go. But I agree, it should have ended at the pain arc. Tion and Sasuke's a tree. I just why is he a tree? <laughs> he he do be a tree. He do indeed be a tree. Let's see. I think I need to eat another strip of jerky. I also need to auto sort. There we go. I got a beast coin. Let's see. It's, what else do we want? But it's okay. It's okay. Sasuke will get himself out of it with plot armor because Kishi can't stop sucking Sasuke's dick. Please just kill Sasuke finally. God, what I would give. What I would give. This stream is gonna run afoul of the anime community. <laughs> However, I don't care. Boruto is bad. Boruto is very bad. Abilities. There we go. We're still gaining some XP. I just wish I could chain together a lot of targets at once. Though I would probably die. He's a fucking tree. 
yeah. It is funny. It is funny. It is hilarious. Ooh, treasure chest. Are you ready for the fun game? Hell yeah. Alright, treasure chest is locked. Examine lock. The first digit is odd. The combination is greater than 61 and less than 93. So it's um, either 7 or 9. Depends on... The second digit is odd. So it could still be 91. We have three, two hints remaining. So the first digit is seven, so it's seventy something. It is seventy five. It had better be seventy five. I really want this treasure. I did it. We did it, chat. Pair we did a chat. Button. I got a sheepskin. Hi, Mika. Mika came and said, mm. I did it, chat. We, we, we solved it, Reddit. Mika, baby. I told Tia at this point, I'm fully convinced that Kishi's just trying to push how nonsensical Bruto can get before his editors tell him to stop. Or people just lose interest. Like Kubo? Like Kubo. How far is too far? How far well, are they willing I, to go? I think with like Kubo, it's like less that he was like pushing stuff and more like there's just like a lot of back and forth between them. Mm -hmm. I just got according to him, like according to him, like he like like was like in a constant battle between like what they wanted and what he wanted. Yeah. Rip. And it didn't help, like, that his, like, health wasn't the greatest at the time. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Hornet Man. Die, please. I got Wasp Sting. Watch this. Perfect. I'm level 4 now. So I got my weapon skill. So we're going to go turn that in. So we're already level 4. We're making good time. I almost feel like I'm doing a speedrun. Which is not what I'm trying to do. Though so the game doesn't really start till max level. I'm not even <laughs> joking. Start What's Rhapsody's nice Avena deal. 120, I think? What the fuck? Yeah. Alright, we're watching a cutscene now for Rhapsody's Avena deal. What do you mean the game doesn't start to level 120? Yeah, you can't even get the best gear until you start raiding. Do you think that's what's going to happen with Final Fantasy XIV? It kind of already did. You only get the best in slot by rating. Rhapsodies of Vanadil. Roll credits? Okay. Well, anyway. All right, Galdago. Guilt Doggo. Guilt Dog. Guilt Dogo. Doggo. Doge. 
Doge. Okay, so we're gonna do synthesis, crystal synthesis, fire crystal, uh, lizard, where is it? Lizard tail and honey. Let's see if this works. I'm cooking. Let him cook. Let him cook! I got sweet lizard. Now I need to go find the auction house. <sighs> Pimp. Okay, where is the auction house? Big pimpin'. Big pimpin'. Okay, luckily the auction house is like legitimately right around the corner. What it is, pimps. It's hot out there for a pimp. Pimp. It's hot out there for a pimp. So Jacob, where are we gonna start the illicit uh uh cat girl strip club in our house? What are you talking about? There's no such thing. <laughs> there is. Why? Why would something like that exist in a good Christian game like Final Fantasy? <laughs> Especially not the 14th one. I just imagine Iris like just. Like, what? What are you talking about? There's no illicit cat girl strip club in our, the basement of our house that we're not paying taxes on. What's a tax? What's a tax? What in the fuck is a Sonic? The fantasy police. Can we see if there's a strip club in your guys' house? Way back, no. Why not? Because no. Well, officer, this is private property. So, unless you got a warrant. We got a chariot band. Now I'm going back over to Gildago. It's hard out there for a pin. Indeed. I got the re raising earrings. So now we're going to go to equipment, ear one, raising earring, chariot. Band. You said the new. The you said the new Boruto game is pretty bad, right? Yeah, everybody hates it. John was talking about it. Mm. You said the dub is awful. I'm not surprised. Sounded awful. Oh, okay, now we're gonna level grind for a bit. So, my guy wants me to go 
north of Gustaberg, so I guess we're gonna head that way. But on the way, we're gonna kill some shit. Hey, so speaking of bleach, did you ever read that fanfiction I sent you? I did not yet. You should. I'm actually rereading it again. Nice. For, I think, like the third time. Hmm. It's really fucking good. Hmm. Oh, treasure chest. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know, I'm just frustrated by Bleach right now because, like... I've just been thinking about it lately, I guess. No matter what, it will never be finished. What do you mean? Like, even if they went back and added stuff to the series, like maybe an after story or something, it wouldn't wash out the taste of, like... You know, like the like the bad the bad vibes after Kubo stopped writing it. When did he stop writing it? Like when the manga finished. Oh yeah. I'm still disappointed in how it ended. I I don't know. Like I like. Don't get me wrong. I like Bleach. Like, I like the general concept of Bleach. Mm. I like the aesthetic of Bleach. Mm. And I like, and as a whole, it has a lot of potential. But, uh, I mean, to me, it's just, Bleach is one of those stories where, like, when it went from, like, Monster of the Week to being a full-fledged, like, story, and they got to Soul Society, hmm. like, it legitimately fell off, like, right then and there. Mm -hmm. The pacing is abysmal. Yeah. Like, I just do not think, like, Kubo understands how pacing works. And, like, the Soul Society arc was fine. Like, you know, not the worst, but you could still get through it. It was okay. And then, like, immediately after that, it was just, like, downhill from there. Yeah. Like, and people fell off harder than, like, hu human characters did in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Which is just Which frustrating, is you know what I mean? Really frustrated to me. And it's something that one fanfiction I sent you, like, rectifies a lot. Yeah. But the humans do shit. But, um... I forgot, does Chad just, like, die or something? Because I can't remember him being around after, um, Hueco Mundo. No. He's still there. Okay. Just doesn't do shit. Because... Fucking Kubo can't... Right. Properly utilize his characters. Yeah. Mm, the problem with his writing style is that he like introduces a bunch of shit but doesn't actually like take the time and like Truly, like, I'm not saying, like, he has to, like, you know, analyze every fucking grain of sand, but, like, he needs to, like, take time to, like, really, uh, like, introduce stuff and, yeah. like, pan it out. I agree. And it's why, to me, like, and I know a lot of people were, like, excited about, like, the Thousand Year War, the arc, and that they're glad they got that, but... I mean, to me, it's just like, okay, cool, but it still doesn't take away the flaws of Bleach. Yeah, of course not. Now, overall, Bleach is a... is unfortunately, like, a flawed... is a... is a flawed... Uh, piece of manga 
Flash anime that had a lot of potential, but, you know, wasn't given that chance. And personally, what I think Kubo should have done is now whether or not like whether or not like he would still battle editors I don't know but what Kubo should have done is he should have worked with a writer of course he should have worked with a writer and explained to him like hey this is like the general idea of what I want to do with this stuff and then work with a writer to like actually like flush that stuff out and he could he could focus exclusively on the art, since that's where his it's very obvious like art is where the pa his passion lies. Yeah. I just I I I think he wanted to work on Sakura Wars more than anything else. He's very passionate about that series. Sakura Wars. It's a video game series that he's done art for. Oh, okay. There's one thing about Kubo that I will give him credit for, and it's that he is very stylish in his art skills. He is, and I don't think, like, I don't think Kubo's a bad person. I think he's, yeah. he's a very passionate person, and his art is amazing. Yeah. Like, I 100% I, I agree. I think his art is, like, it's very stylish. I always loved his, uh, his, um... Uh, his spreads before every chapter of like characters and like stylish looks. Yeah. Like that shit's like on point. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. He's he's even been quoted in like uh, like interviews saying that like he'd love to like work in like fashion or architect. Yeah. Um. Kind of like, but I just think. Yeah. Go on. Kind of like I think. Um. Uh. What's his name? Rocky would like doing that too. Oh, absolutely. Um, but I just think, unfortunately, like it's as a writer, like he just his stuff falls flat. But at the same time, like working with a writer has never been good in Shonen Jump. But it happens. I know People it happens. Do it. I know it does. But, like, and it's rough. I'm sure it is, but, like, in the case of, like, Kubo, like, he really needed to work with somebody who, yeah. like, could keep him on pace. Which I would say is honestly... I honestly think that the biggest problem of... of Bleach is that... Pacing is abysmal. Yeah, I'll agree. I will definitely agree. Followed by uh, underutilizing, um, underutilizing characters to their full potential and letting them yeah. fall off. Yeah. Which you know, say what you want about Dragon Ball Z, but at least like, at least like the humans are still useful to a certain capacity. Yeah. And it's why I like One Piece so much over mm. Bleach and Naruto because everybody in like One Piece is always utilized. Yeah. To maybe not like their fullest, fullest potential, but they're never but they're never thrown to the side. Yeah. Everybody in the Straw Hat crew gets their limelight, they get utilized, they get fleshed out. That's the thing I think um, a lot of modern anime miss out on, is utilizing their characters to the full potential. And I agree. I 100% I agree. And it's why I don't care for... It's why, in particular, I don't really care for... Why is this going here? I don't care for isekais, because... 
Isekais just rely primarily too much on the MC doing like whatever the MC does being OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't really build up a strong uh, group of diverse characters, in my personal opinion. I think People who could stand on. Go ahead. People who can't stand on their own without the MC being there, if that makes sense. I get you. I think it can be done well. I think it can be done extremely well, and I'm sure I, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of examples of it being done very well. Read my book. Like your book, yes. <laughs> Daniel's self plug for his book he's writing. Um, oh, I like how I like how like the two of you are just like two big burly dudes like trading blows back and forth. I just died. God damn it. He I... was too strong for you, Jaycon. Yeah, I was not ready for that. You couldn't pierce his shell. He was indeed a turtle on a half shell. Turtle power. Turtle power. But but yes, I I I 100% think um, that some some anime just do not utilize their side characters very well. Um, yeah. Especially like those within the main group of fighters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Now I don't know if it really started with DBZ or not, but I feel like DBZ is a lot is a lot to play for that. It was very. Either it was very, um, I think DBZ codified it, but I don't think it's a problem that started with DBZ. I think it just got worse. Like, I feel like there's a lot of things that in modern anime that can be traced back to DBZ. Yeah. Especially like the biggest the biggest offender is just power scaling. Yeah. I think too many people too many people too many people do DBZ power scaling. I mean I'm guilty of that too. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know. It depends on how it's utilized. I think if it's utilized in a smart way, like, then that's fine. But if it's, like, just utilized in a way where it's just, like, the MC is the only one who can beat shit, then, then no. Yeah, of course. That's boring. Um. But, I mean, like, look at Naruto. Like, look at Shippuden. Like, it went from them being ninjas who, you know... Like, yeah, like, their techniques, like, their big flashy techniques aren't necessarily ninja-like, but yeah. they still utilize, like, ninja tactics. Yeah. Stealth and uh, subterfuge. Yeah. Um, but it went from that to legitimately just being, like... Magic. Magic. Which is annoying. Like, l which is annoying. Like, literally, like, Super Saiyans. Like, Naruto literally got a Super Saiyan form. Yeah. Like, what about that screams ninjas? Nothing. Exactly. And the other thing was, I think, like, Kishi, like, I think, like, even said, like, the original was going to be, like, about magic. And then he changed it to ninjas. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it basically just became, like, a fucking DBZ knockoff. Yeah. And you could also say the same thing about Bleach, too. Like, I mean, Bleach 100% went DBZ as early as the Soul Society arc. Yeah. Whereas, like, with One Piece, like, 
It's kind of funny. One Piece. Oda actually introduced uh, a power scaling level uh, during one of the arcs. And then, like, immediately discarded it after that arc, because I think he was like, dude, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. He did. But I just, I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. It is frustrating. I'm not sure how to fix it. Which is why you should go read Protector's Pride, because it's really fucking good. I know, I know, I know. Uh, and it'll give you the, uh, it'll give you the feel-goods. It will. Sorry, I'm taking, I'm taking, uh, quests. You're fine. Gotta, gotta... Level. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Okay. Now I need to go talk to Clarion Star. Who is where? Let's see. I think he's on this map. I'll probably have to go to the port. Oh well, I'll figure it out. I am going to go do missions though. Got to steal the eat. Got to eat the little. Tell you all about it when I've got the time. I do have a quest to kill some lizards, so we could do that. <laughs> That'd be fun. But the faster I get a, uh, the faster I get a, uh, trust, the faster I, um, I should probably, I should probably get a alter ego. Uh, Clarion Star and Port Bastok. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a diversion to go get a trust, because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to level. So to Port Bastok we go, which is. Port Bastog, all the way over in fuck off nowhere. We walking, we walking, boys. Can you get him out? Uh, level twenty, but it's complicated. It always is. This game loves Why being complicated. It? Why can't it just be? Here's a quest to get them out. You have them out now. No, 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 no. See, it's way more complicated than that. But it doesn't have to be. Annoyingly so. It's annoyingly so complicated. But they do have certain mounts in the game you can just get, which is nice. Ugh. <sighs> oh. You gonna make it? Perhaps. We have been streaming almost an hour, and it is ridiculous how little I've gotten accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to regret deleting my character. That's just the usual MMO character. You deleted it? Yeah. I thought. 
You can only... Okay, every character slot that you have costs an extra dollar. Like, do you only pay it once, or...? No, every month. Oh, that's gay. It is kind of stupid. The... It's no wonder people don't fucking play this game. Yeah. How much a month do you pay for this? I use Krista, so I only pay the amount of Krista per month, about 1,300 1, Krista. How much is that? About 13 bucks. It's not terrible, I said. It's not terrible, but it's annoying. I, I would really prefer if they would just, you know, fucking include the subscription into 14. Alright, give me Pretty one sure. second. I have to do a wide scan for Clarion Star. But Jaycon, that would that would that would be Square Enix making a smart move. A and good business we, decision. We can't have Square Enix making good business decisions. Yeah, we gotta we gotta make a Final Fantasy eleven NFT instead. And they fucking wonder why they've lost, like, millions of dollars. Millions of dollars in the respect of people that used to care about the properties. Alright, hi buddy. I need to talk to you about stuff. Like... At this point, I think people really only like play, like care about Square Enix because of Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, it's frustrating. Is there a crystal over like, here? Yes, over there. Do people even talk about sixteen? Yeah, of course. Is it good? It's good. Like I remember when fifteen and came out. And no, it's not fanboying. Kind of... Area 15 came out, most people are kind of indifferent to it. Yeah, it wasn't great. Especially after all the fucking hype for it. Yeah. Blame... Blame... Tetsuya Nomura for that. Yeah. Fucking Nomura, dude. Him and this fucking need to overcomplicate everything. Yeah. Although he... versus versus thirteen would have been fine. Versus thirteen would have been fine if they could have just fucking released it. And then that works. But no, it, that had to turn into fucking fifteen. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then they finally released Kingdom Hearts 3 13 years after fucking 2 came out. I cannot begin to tell you my frustrations with how they did that with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it's frustrating. Like... Okay, like... I can understand... I can understand... I can understand the first spin-off, Chain of Memories. Mm. Like, okay, I can understand it's a side story, it's kind of an interweek, it's kind of like a inter-sequel. Interquel. Um, interquel, yeah, that's what I was, the word I was looking for. And like, like, most people, most people played it because most people owned a Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Like, Everybody and their brother owned a Game Boy Advance. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. That's yeah. fine. So, um, um, and even if you didn't like play it, play it. Like you might be like a little lost on some things, but like not enough that you couldn't play. Like just just go straight into two. 
Um, and then they did two. And then... Instead of, like, immediately going into three, they did spinoffs. Yeah. They did... 358 over two days. Recoded. Um... Birth by Sleep. And they released that, well, Recoded was a cell phone game. But they released 350 over two days on the DS, and mm. they released Birth by Sleep on the PSP. Mm. And, like, first of all, most people did not own both cons, both handhelds. Yeah. Like, let's be honest here. If you owned a DS, you more than likely did not own a PSP. And if you owned a PSP, you more than likely did not own a DS. Yes. Although I so, did own both. And that's fair. And at one point, I owned both too. And I but own a Vita that like, you need to hack. And like... Um, but both of those handles were already pretty expensive. And then like, you have to like get them to play a game. Which, of the two games that came out... Birth by Sleep was actually good, and 350 Day over two days is a chore to play. But it has I liked it though. I, f I fucking hated it so much. It was not fun to play. I don't care what anybody says. The game is a fucking chore and a half to play. Why couldn't they just do a fucking level up system? I know. But still, 350 Day over two days. And clearly Square Enix thought the same thing because they made 3 at the 8 over two days cutscene only in the collections. Yeah. But 3 at the 8 over two days has, like, extremely, like, plot-relevant stuff. As is Birth by Sleep. But it's... you're not gonna know because you're probably not gonna play both games. Yeah. And then... And you're definitely not going to play Recoded, which, in the grand scheme of things, Recoded doesn't really matter too much. But still, it's kind of important. And then Square Enix clearly realized, okay, maybe fucking splitting, like, putting three spinoffs on, like, three different things is a bad idea. So then they put fucking Dream Drop Distance just on 3DS. Yeah. Which again, most people own a 3DS or a 2DS. Which is fine. But it was getting to a point where it's like, okay, where's Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, of course. And then they like released that fucking like prequel prequel. Um like that was like a mobile game that like legitimately nobody gave a fuck about oh yeah, yeah, yeah i know what you're talking about like that also kind of had plot relevant stuff but not really yeah, 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 yeah and then finally like 13 years after two they were released three and now they're but, like at that trying to release four at some point yeah but like at that point i had a conversation about this with somebody mm -hmm. um at that point, like, the momentum's gone. Yeah, of course. The momentum, the want to care about Kingdom Hearts, like, it's gone. Like, 2 was hot. Like, 2 was fucking hot. Hot off the presses in 2007. You know, Kingdom Hearts came out in uh, 2001, 2002. I think Dream Dot, uh, I think Chain of Memory came out in 03. Let's just verify that real quick. The parts. Yeah, 2002. And 2 was really going. good. Two was really good. Kingdom Hearts is the tenth best-selling PlayStation Two game of all time. Mm. Uh, 
I'm not surprised by that. I'm, on, I'm unlocking in... trusts. Oh, two came out in 2005. I don't know why I keep yeah. thinking it came out in 2007. Final Mix came out in 2007. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then like, uh, you were thinking about 2005, and that shit was fucking hot. Like, it was fresh off the press. It was great. Everything about it was awesome. So then, like, people were like, all right, cool. Where's Kingdom Hearts 3? And then it didn't fucking release until... Where is Kingdom Hearts? Until fucking 2019! Yeah. Let me do the math there. Minus two. It is 14 years! Yeah. 14 fucking years, Jacob! I know, I know, I know. 14 years. And then, let's see. Um, yeah, 350 over two days came out in 09. Birth by Sleep, 10. Dream Doss Distance, 12. What the fuck is Axe? That's the mobile game. Role player, role it's playing key. browser game. He. Yeah, the one that, like, nobody, like, played or heard of. Yeah. But yeah, it, it came out 14 years later, and, like, people cared, but not like they would have back when Kingdom Hearts was, like, still fresh. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know, like, I just, I'm just very frustrated by that. I'm very frustrated by the fact that Square Enix could not keep the momentum going on on Kingdom Hearts. It is frustrating. And, um, you know, they, they decided they were going to do spinoffs. And I don't know how much of that was, like, executive decision and how much of that was, like, Nomura being Nomura. But I think a lot of it was the, Nomura being Nomura. I think it was a lot of it was Nomura being Nomura. And it, but it shouldn't have been that way. It should not have fucking been that way. He doesn't even... Does he even work for Square Enix anymore? Yes, he still does. I thought he got fired. No, it's complicated. He's the one working on Rebirth. Oh, okay. Final Fantasy VII Remake is his baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. I never did beat the first part. I have it on PlayStation 4. Hmm. I want to play three at some point. I do. I, I need to play it too. I have it. I uh. I have it too. I legally acquired it. Legally speaking. Totally legal. I, software legal. I I bought it on PS4. Yeah, it was, it was on sale. Uh, I have it on PC, hmm. but I wasn't going to install Epic, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now we're unlocking more trusts. Oh yeah, the Super Mario RP the RPG remake is out. Yeah, which was also done by a very good studio. Based. So, like, the Gelka are like the progenitors to, uh. The Rogadin, pretty much. The Rogadin. And then the Mithras 
or the pre uh progenitors to uh what's the cat girls the cat cat people race mikote mikote except now there's male mikote as well yeah In 14, you used to only be able to play as male Rodigan, and then they yeah. added females. Let's see, how do I... How do I shot web? How do I shot web? Hold on, let me figure out how I can get new get new trusts. Oh, I just gotta trade the cipher. Okay. Cipher sent us to hell. We'll keep going deeper. Right, Joey? What's that? Cipher sent us to hell, but we're going even deeper. We're going even deeper. My meds are really starting to kick in now. I do have free time to stream tomorrow though too, so... So... I had a dream last night. Mm hmm Where I was at my house in Indiana, mm. and it was some kind of get together, and my parents weren't there. But like I was there with like a bunch of people, and it was dark out, mm. and the lights were on, like at my front house, like the front porch and everything. And for whatever reason, I had a Colt forty-five. That's a very strange. And I was like messing around with the Colt 45. The gun was unloaded and I was like taking it apart and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why is because somebody was like having trouble like putting it together. Mm -hmm. So after like some finagling, I learned to do it and I could do it all from like memory and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then later, 
somebody asks me, and uh, um, no, yes, somebody asked me like, hey, can you can you put this Colt forty five together for me? And I tried doing it, but for whatever reason, it wasn't like getting put together. And then, like, I was, like, looking at it, and it was, like, it didn't even look like an actual gun anymore. It looked like some kind of model. Um, so, I begin taking it apart, and then it just, like, like, instantly turns into, like, like, plastic bit. Like a model. Weird. And I have to, like, pull out, like, an, uh, a set of instructions to, like, put it together. And I'm, like, struggling to put this thing together. Like, like, legit, like, like, nervous wreck. Like, what? What? How? And, um, like, I guess I was, like, really, like, stressed about this because I was, like, tossing and turning in my sleep. Mm -hmm. and, and then I woke up to my alarm. <laughs> it's really weird. That's rough. All over, like, all over like a gun. <laughs> yeah. That... I wonder what it means. I wonder what it means. What does it mean? What does it mean? The, the memes, what do they mean? Alright, I think we're gonna stream for 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna call it. But we'll try to come back tomorrow for the late stream. All right. To Clarion Star we go. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it another 15 minutes. You should probably go to bed. Probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna call it here. Yeah, you should go to bed. Just let me get this done real quick. Alright, chat. Good night. We'll come back for more of this later. I've been Jacob, and this has been Joey, and this is the late stream. Good night, everybody.